You still there? Alrighty, welcome everybody. This is our 25th episode of Brownsville Tech Live, and this is a rehash of Monday's episode. And as we had on Monday, we've got the apple of guru of gurus for the RGV, Doug Blunt. Doug, welcome. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Welcome I'm to doing be good. Back. I'm happy to be yeah, back. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're back. Well, it's been a pretty exciting week at uh, the Apple WWWDC. Uh, lots of uh, re you know releases came out with respects to iOS. Um, there was also some hardware that was announced, so uh, we definitely want to go through uh, what was released with regards to uh, the WWDC. So for that. We're going to head straight into the virtual theater. We've taken out the seats, the curtains, left the sound, no popcorn. Pop, there's a popcorn shortage. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. There is a popcorn yep. shortage. You know. Farmers are going to grow soybeans instead of corn. I know, right? It's incredible. You know, whoever thought we'd be short of popcorn? Who would have thunk? Yeah. You know, we thought toilet paper was bad, but God forbid we can't eat popcorn at the movie theater. By no, the way, they have just you made gone... the, they, they just made the toilet paper sizes smaller now. Instead <laughs> of 500 sheets, you get 300 sheets. Have you gone to the Same movies price. to see Top Gun yet? Uh, we're going to go Tuesday. Ah, okay. That's a senior I special. I have a date for Tuesday morning. Ah, okay. She's back. No, she extended. She won't be back till Thursday. I'm going with the neighbor girl. Oh, no. That's not good. 
What? We do it all the time. Ah, okay. She doesn't, she, Diva doesn't like movies that much. Well, Miranda, really? she likes watching movies. Oh, wow. Yeah, she come over the other night, we watched Goodfellas. Wow. When Ray Liotta died. Yeah. Yeah, we both liked Goodfellas. We rewatched it for two and a half hours. Man, I can't yeah. believe that Leota actually died, you know. And then Friday, we're going to binge on Peaky Blinders. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. that's cool. New series, new, new season, Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it's uh, the top movie. It's the top movie, you know, for uh, um, for yeah. anything that's playing out there right now. And I found out that, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, God, the guy with the uh, throat cancer. Aye. Val Kilmer. The, yeah, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. The worst, the worst Batman. Yeah. Uh, I'll be, he'll always be remembered by I'll Be Your Huckleberry. <laughs> Which, for what movie? Tombstone. Oh, okay. Because uh, they, they did, the they used AI to reproduce the uh, the voice on the movie. Oh, I just gave you a spoiler. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and I guess, I, I guess John Hamm is the evil admiral. Yeah. Well, you'll have to yeah. tell me. You'll have to tell me how good the AI was. That's what you'll have to tell no, me. So, I don't all right, think well, let's, that, fl I, let's flip over what to... What I understand, the, there's not much AI. It's all real stuff. Well, they, he can barely talk, you know? <laughs> all righty. So, basically, uh, let's, let's go to the home screen here. Don't play any videos. I know. That was really bad. How dare they do that to me. So basically, uh, let's go over what uh, came about with iOS. I believe it's version 16 for the, tel for the for cell phones. That is correct. All right, Doug. So you've, you've got the floor. Basically, the, the 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 top thing was uh, lock screen and lock screen. Now, talk to us about lock screen. What is lock sc screen? Okay, lock screen is when you uh, when you open up your phone. When you open up your phone, generally you see a bunch of settings and stuff in there. Right. Okay. And yeah, and so now you can uh, you'll be able to have uh, there'll be widgets in there. Okay. And uh, like the like if, if it's weather, you know, if it's rain outside, it'll show the rain. If it's thunderstorms or something like that, um, you know, um, a lot of improvements on the lock screen. Be yeah, before it was pretty static. Okay, yeah. you just had a few apps on there and stuff, but now it's it's going to be more dynamic. Now, one thing that they mentioned in the video was that you'll be able to change the background of the lock screen. Correct. Correct. Yeah, and so then you can actually the, change the individual fonts. You're right. There, there'll be a lot of developers that develop apps for the home, for the lock screen. Okay, and they'll have some stuff built in the system, you know, in the system utilities to change it, but I expect a lot of developers will be working on that. Now, it says that it'll so support wanna, multiple lock screens. Yeah, more than one. Yeah, more and more lock screen. Yeah, so you could have one of one person, and then you could have a lock screen of another person. That's right. kind of neat. Yeah. Now, they talk about, about notifications. It says you can view notifications on the lock screen in an expanded list and then live activities like you mentioned but this is this the weather or, or is this something out of your watch 106 oh no that's the weather that's the weather yeah. for example if you're a baseball fan and if you want live scores from baseball games okay now before MLB, MLB app would just send you Let's say the Cardinals are 
they got two runs in the bottom of the ninth, okay? They would just send you a notification. Okay. Okay? If I understand it correctly now, is that now they'll just send you, they won't send you a notification. It'll just show up on your lock screen. Okay. So it'll be more like live. Okay. It'll be more like live. Let's say if you want to get, if I want to drive from my house to the pool on Ruben Torres, and I want to t if I want to find out how long it's going to take me, how the traffic is, they'll show, they'll tell me right off the bat that you know there's traffic ahead. It's going to be you're going to be delayed five minutes or ten minutes or whatever. Right. Without right. going without going into the app. Right. So basically, it, it, it eliminates the need for going inside the phone and looking at an app. Right. Okay. And then they. They're talking about focus. What's focus all about? Focus is, for example, you're on a conference call at work, uh -huh. okay, and you get you get that phone call from somebody, okay, right in your middle of a conference call or a presentation. Well, yeah. conference, uh, what you can do, you can block them out. So you put your phone on. For example, my phone right now is on focus. Focus is not a new thing. It's just improved. Okay. Okay. So now it's more robust, okay? And so you can you, you can set, for example, you just allow message or phone calls or messages from your daughter or from your wife or, you know, or, or whatever. You don't want to be disturbed for, for like for now, for like, for example, right now we're doing a, we're doing a podcast, right? Well, right. we don't want, we don't, neither one of us want to get a phone call. Right. It's right. happened. So that's what that does. <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time. I put it on focus all the time, like you know, to keep down on the spammers. Yeah. Because I always somebody's always trying to sell me something. You know, yeah. my, my old buddy Jason. You know, my buddy Jason from uh, trying to sell me uh, solar solar um, panels. Okay, on my house. You know. Yeah. You know, you know those guys are you know or Medicare insurance or crap like that. You know, I just yeah. tune them off. So you can you can set that up any way you want to. Now, one thing they talk about focus is that you can have a personal focus and a work focus. It, it, it has that now, but it's, it's like I said, it's more robust. Yeah. Obviously, and then it the talks, work focus, yeah, if your boss, you're going to let your boss call you or whatever, you know. Yeah. You, you know. It says you can filter out distracting content in your everyday apps. Right. Yeah. Cut down on the, on the junk you get from everybody, you know. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, I have like on one email account, an old email account, when they used to send you little diskettes in the mail, I think I have like yeah. 60,000 emails still. And I have that well, email account... LinkedIn. Uh, I have that email I get, account because I still have. I get LinkedIn notifications all the time. Yeah. 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 And then they're talking about photos. What's new in photos? What's new in photos? Um, uh, the, the the big deal is that to say that you have a family, and yeah. you want your own. Right now, you take photos, and your spouse takes photos. And they all go together, you know, and so they kind of all go together. So now you'll be able to have your personal photos and you'll have a share library with, with, with people. Like in your, oh, wow. So, yeah, so family photos, you know, to say, you know, you, you, know, so you say it, to your wife, hey, hey, what happened to that photo? Oh, it's in my library. Oh, I'll send that to you and she never does. Okay, now yeah. this way you can share them. So if you have your family all with iPhones and you have them in your shared uh, settings, whatever yeah. photos you have, they have access to practically. If you, you don't have to share, physically if send you share with right. them. Yeah. If you, if you opt in. Okay. And yeah. then you can also have your own personal photo library. Okay. It's something that they've wanted on iOS for a long, long time. Um, you know, the people have wanted it for a long, long time because, you know, 
you don't want your spouse to show, you know, to see all your photos. Right. You know, whatever it might be. It could be, you know, could be anything. Okay. Yeah. And just and the other way around, you know, you really don't care if she takes a picture of a Tupperware dish. Okay. Right. Or something like that. But right. You know, but now you say you you know you go to the beach or something. Or like last night when you had graduation, or the night before, okay, right. you can share the same photo. Right. Wow. So that was that was a big deal. People people have wanted that for a long, long time. Now, one of the things they also talked about was uh, messages. You know, everybody's run into that text message that they didn't mean to send. Exactly. And they were talking about the fact that now you can edit a previous message just like right. that. And the other thing is you can then send a message. I mean, you know, most of these phones now, you know, their keyboards have that uh, feature where they guess the word you're going to uh, text. And sometimes exactly. it goofs up pretty badly. You or know. a lot of people like me use voice dictation, and sometimes it, dic you know, once you, once you say it on the phone, it doesn't translate the way you wanted to say. Right. You see. I mean, the big so, problem with me is I've got thick fingers, so yeah. you know when I press on a button on that keyboard on the virtual keyboard, I may be pressing the letter next to it, and make a mistake. It always happens. And, and, and a good example is my old boss at my old boss at work. He would send emails, and his emails weren't very well diplomatic. Even though he asked him about it later, he says, "No, I didn't mean that. I meant something else." Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I just after you know after working with him all those years, I just oh yeah, that's just him. I didn't yeah. pay much attention to it. Yeah. A lot of people were upset sometimes with the, the way he forwarded emails. And then, of course, uh, I don't know, uh, they improved search and mail? Yeah, mail needed it big time. Uh, Apple's mail has been way behind for a long, long, long time. It's just been overlooked. And the, and the search function, you know, like you want to find that email from 2015 that you know you sent and you can't or you know you received but you can't find it right okay well it was almost impossible to find you'd have to put it in folders and everything else right yeah well this way this is this is a lot a lot better it needed work mail has needed to work for a long long time so they finally got around fixing it yeah so now they've got undo send they even got something called Undo Schedule Send. Yeah, Schedule Send. Well, you know, Outlook has got that, you know, if you want to send it now or do you want to send it an hour later or whatever. Yeah. You know. Like when they try to get you know, rid of people, they'll they'll announce it hours after they let them go? Or... No, they just, yeah, they don't even tell you anymore. They just get rid of you. <laughs> and then they call yeah. you back. And then they call you back. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. I never answered those calls. My my philosophy was there ain't no more hoochie coochie after a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I heard that my my um the guy that came after me, that's what they did to him. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. well. And they found they made they, allegedly they made a mistake or Bottom line is that somebody else wanted him to do more work for him, and so he convinced him to bring him back. Wow. How about Safari and Passkeys? What's new there? Uh, the big deal with Safari is is that the tabs, you can share tabs now. Let's say, for okay. example, you know, your your wife or your spouse or somebody wants to see something, and you say, oh, yeah, it's right here. Let me send in the link. Well, now you can just do the tab so you can yeah. see if she gives you the permission she can see what you're saying wow or you can see what she's saying 
Yeah. And not quite sure what passkey is. It's a security. Oh, it's a. Uh, it does away with passwords. Ah. So is yeah. that like two factor or better than two factor? Better than two factor. Let's say, for example, today I was on the IRS website trying to pay a bill. Yeah. And oh my God, it was what an experience. It's taken me two days to. It's taken me two days to figure it out what they want to do because, you know, they do the, the facial, you know, the scan and everything else on there. And then I kept on, you know, this is the password I want. And, oh, my God, it was it's just – but I finally got through. I mean, I finally got it done, but it, it was compl- – it was, it was hard. I mean, it was yeah. hard to – and, you know. And, and that's because they're being sophisticated. Yeah, so I don't know, you know, on the IRS website, I don't know why they would, you know, if somebody else would want to pay my taxes, that's fine with me. Okay. You know, they but still use mainframes. You know, they still use mainframes. Oh, oh, do they? Yeah. Old yeah, iron lines. There's a company, yeah, there's a company called ID dot something, ID me yeah. or something, and they're in the facial scans. Yeah. So the webcam on this computer wasn't good enough to the facial scan so yeah. I had to do the facial scan with my phone yeah you know what about uh, but, they did some improvements for uh, video now you can do live text yep FaceTime they've improved FaceTime I think bottom line is this Danny is that Apple got caught with their pants down the pandemic because Zoom was Zoom was the uh, was a choice for everybody because oh, it was yeah. easy to use and yeah, and everything else, and I think the, even the, the people at Apple, you know, they had they shut down the the campus at Apple, and they everybody was working from home. They go, man, I FaceTime in, it sucks. Okay. Yeah. So what they've done is that they've taken some of the best things from Zoom, and then also um, Slack. Yeah. Okay. So. You know, you know, Slack is basically a fire hose, more or less, right? Yeah. It's not very sophisticated, but it's just a fire hose. Now they've made this a little bit, and you can, and with this new FaceTime, you can do presentations and just all kinds of crazy stuff. Now they also talk about dictation. Do you use dictation? Yeah, I use dictation, especially on my phone, quite a bit. Okay, because, you know, I have fat fingers like you, and, you know, instead of typing it out, I, I, just, I just say it. Now, Before, does though, it capture it, every word? Yeah, for about a paragraph on the iOS. Right now, it does it on the iOS for about a paragraph. On the Mac, it does it for quite a, quite a bit. Yeah. The Mac dictation is better than the iOS. But it, on the iOS dictation, it cuts it off in about a paragraph. Um, now they they're supposed to fix that now. Yeah. So what about know, maps? So, What's new with maps? Ma- maps. Uh, maps. They've done some more. You know the the uh, presentation on maps is that you're, it, it looks like more like a video game. Right. And, and instead of the actual buildings and stuff. So it's 3D. And, uh, it's 3D, yeah. Yeah. On some cities. Yeah. There's like maybe 30 cities. And okay. you know the city, San Francisco, you know, Los <laughs> of Angeles. Of course. Yeah, maybe New York, you know, Tokyo. You know, Not Brownsville? And, you know, no Brownsville. No Matamoros? San Antonio. <laughs> no, I didn't see San Antonio on the list. No, they're not that sophisticated. It'll be Austin first, sure. though. Austin will probably be on it, yeah. 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 But it takes them a while to roll that out. Hey, now that you're retired, uh, you're gonna are you gonna make any attempts to go uh, to that festival in Austin every March? What is it? Southwest? What is it? Uh... South by uh, Southwest. South by Southwest. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it. 
I don't know if I'm really into that. One year, about 10 years ago, six years ago, Leah Laporte brought Twit into Austin. Yeah. Okay, on a, on a Sunday, and we went to a place called Momo's, and that was kind of cool. So they were they were doing a, you know, a, a podcast there Sunday afternoon show. Right. You know, this week in tech, that was kind of cool, and but he hasn't been back since. So. Is Laporte still on? Still on, still kicking. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They, oh man. You know, it, it's just, it's, yeah, I think he's. I mean, it's the same stuff. He doesn't really change much, okay? Yeah. You know, he, you know, people come and go on the network. Um, it's basically the same stuff. But I think there's a guy. There's a guy named Alex Lindsay that is occasionally on MacBreak Weekly that has, and I'll hook you up with him. I think he is doing a much better job than anybody's doing. He's yeah. got a site called Office Hours Global, and it's pretty good. Yeah. And he, that's what he does for a living, okay? He used to work for Lucas Films, and he does his company, they go around the world doing uh, streaming video. Wow. So he's pretty good. But I think it, I'll, I'll hook you up to it as soon as yeah. we get done here. Apple Pay and Wallet, what's new there? Yeah, I used it twice today. I used it once at the therapy. Uh -huh. I asked them they take Apple Pay, and they said, sure do. So I paid for my, parent, my therapy session through Apple Pay, and then I went, I stopped up at the, the little general store here in Rancho and bought two bottles of water. Wow. And I walked in there and took Apple Pay. When I get my smoothie after I get done working out at the gym, I pay with Apple Pay. I pay all the time now. Now, I think one of the things that they talked about in that video was that uh, you're able to now communicate iPhone to iPhone like in near communication or something like that. Near communication. I haven't yeah. heard that one. Yeah, like you can okay. put two iPhones together. I thought I saw that in the, the video. Maybe oh, I'm wrong. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've had that for a couple of years. Okay. So let's say you buy a new iPhone. Yeah. And you take your iPhone and put them together. And all your apps and stuff, you know. But when I bought this, you know, like a month ago, yeah, I just typed in my Apple ID and everything came down. I mean, it was yeah. down within, I don't know, five minutes. Yeah. I didn't miss. I didn't miss a lick. Emails, text messages, nothing. Wow. Yeah. But the big what deal about, about Apple Pay now is that let's say that you want to buy something. Uh huh. Okay. And what they did, they borrowed the business model from these companies like Affirm and right. Synchrony, okay, where they automatically, you know, you can opt in to get four equal payments. Interest-free? Interest-free. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Four equal payments, interest-free. So when you buy your daughter that new Mac Air, <laughs> you can put that on the easy, the easy monthly payment plan. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Actually, I was talking about that earlier with her. Yeah, you know. So you could probably put it, you know, maybe two fifty a month. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot easier yeah. than lump sum. Yeah, lump sum. You know. So What's you new can, with you the can, home screen? Uh, or, or no, it's not home screening. It's home app. What's home app? Home app, much needed improvement. The home yeah. app was like well, originally they divided up in rooms. Like you had a living yeah. room and a bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Now what they've done is that they've redesigned it so now it's just everything on one screen. Okay. It's a lot easier. So I, you've I got access confused. to your lamps, thermostats, whatever, Lock. all from one screen? Yeah. One screen, yeah. Everything with this, yeah. It's much easier this way. And that can go on your lock screen too. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So right now on my lock screen, I have my Equibee thermostat, uh -huh. widget widget on there. Okay. Well, in the future, I'll be able to put the Equibee on there, and I'll be able to put, um, I think I, oh, my um, Yale. I have a Yale lock, you know, right. that I open up, you know. I can put that on there, and I don't have to go to the app. And so 
uh, much needed redesign. Wow. Health and fitness. What's new there? Uh, the, the big deal there, I think, is that um, uh, workouts, say, for example, you're training for a triathlon, a triathlon okay, uh -huh. before you'd have a separate category for the running part, and then have the cycling part and the swimming part. Now it kind of blends them all together, and you can get your workout on, you know, one thing, you know. Right. Yeah. And you don't have to have a watch either. Wow. Yeah. And of course, family sharing. Family sharing, yep. That's a photo yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. CarPlay. CarPlay. I wish I had CarPlay, but uh, I do not have one. But it looks like to me they kind of more of it, you know, the little gadgets that you, you could buy about this size. And it would plug in underneath the dashboard. Right. And it record all that. And that company went out of business. They probably got bought out by Apple. So now basically this one. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Now in a video that I saw, not the one that I played on Monday, but a developer video talked about that the goal that Apple has for CarPlay is to replace the user interface currently in existing cars. Not necessarily their own car, but what they're trying to work is that you basically are going to have Apple software running on a vehicle. Right. That's what they want to do. And that's so, probably a know. smarter thing. They need to be universal because, you know, you, you buy a Ford, you get one kind of software. You buy a GM car, you get one kind of software. You buy a Subaru, you get something else. And and if you have, if the user interface is the same, yeah. hey, you know. Yeah, because that that's what be this deal. diagram or this picture seems to indicate. And that video that I was talking about, talked about that the ultimate goal is for the Apple experience to be fully embedded into the vehicle. Not necessarily well, that they have their own car, but they've got control of what your visuals are within the vehicle. Right. And yeah. um, that's always been the Apple mantra was to get everything, you know, they want, to get, they want you to give the best UI experience, you know. Right, because you know, know if this today. Is make it. I, I don't oh, know if go this ahead. is going to make it in the long run, but it, you know, it's a good start, and they keep on improving it. CarPlay's gotten yeah. better over the years; more right. cars have it. But then yeah, there's other cars that don't have CarPlay. Okay. Right. I know that on the Google and, side, they've got Android Auto. You know. Exactly. There, so, there seems to be a a battle. For this next area, yeah, sure is, yeah, sure is. So they done privacy, some security, privacy and security, privacy and security, accessibility. That's always a big deal. Accessibility. Apple's probably the forerunner of accessibility features. Right. Let's go over and look at hardware now. Head back over okay. to the home screen. The home screen. Uh, we'll go to well, the you know, the iPhones won't come out till October. You know, right. So there definitely was probably, probably the second, probably the second week of September. Yeah. So the big news was the MacBook Air. So let's so talk to me about the MacBook Air. Well, you know, MacBook Air, the, 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 that's, that's Apple's number one selling laptop is a MacBook yeah. Air. They sell more laptops. They sell more Mac Airs than any other computer they sell. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, they kept the price about the same. I, you can get one for 1100 Okay. Right. The, the MagSafe is back. Okay. You got the MagSafe back. Um, better screen. 
you know, they revamped it a couple years ago, about a year or two ago, and the screen got much better. Now it's even better than that, you know, with this liquid deal they got. And then yeah. something interesting, I noticed that they have a little charging block that you put your cable into. Not right. only does it charge your laptop, it also, you can put another device in it. So there's two, right. there's two, two things in it. So, if you so wanna, the new MacBook Air a, has an M2 processor? Yeah, M2 processor. The old ones had M1s, super right. for fast, but the new ones have M2s, you know. I mean, we can go into the weeds about what Johnny Sajuji says about the new silicon chip and all that kind of stuff, but the bottom line is that the battery, the battery life is like 18 hours and... Yeah. Yeah, up to 18 hours and, you know, so that's what everybody's interested in is fast, super fast. And it weighs a little bit less, okay? The bezel's a little bit more cleaner. You know, it's it's not as thick as it once was. It comes uh, in they four went back dollars. to the old keyboard like they did. Yeah. Uh, they also have um, fingerprint ID on it. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Now, but, where's the uh, fingerprint yeah, scanner on this? Do you see it? The what? Where's the fingerprint uh, scanner? Um, is it up here? It's on. Yeah, I think so. That's that little spot up there. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, if you want to go to a website that has that or whatever, yeah. or let's say you want to pay by Apple Pay. So, which color would you pick if you were to buy one of these? Oh, I think I'd pick the black one, I think. The yeah. Daylight. But I'm surprised they didn't come up with more robust colors like the green or the purple or something like that. Right. Or rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Or rainbow. Or rainbow, yeah. Yeah, but so no, it's... No, it's a good buy for 1100 bucks. It's, it's a good buy. Yeah, look at that battery life. 18 hours. 18 hours. It says yeah. it's... Uh... So they... they... They updated that, and then, you know, we can get into the MacBook yeah. um, Pro. Same situation, yeah. they updated. There was, they, they've they had the M2 on some MacBook higher price ones. Yeah. Now I think what they've done is they just and they just put it on all of them. Yeah, let's so I think that's the them. ultimate goal is to get all the MacBooks and Mac Air and the iMacs into the Mac 2s. Yeah, and then eventually though they didn't mention the Mac Pro, you know the cheese grater that's still in, right. that's still in an Intel chip. I would expect that would probably go later this year. Yeah. Yep. So it, the Mac probably won't be a big the, the MacBook Pro's got an M2 chip as well. No, MacBook. Oh, the MacBook Pro does. Yeah, yeah, it does. But the yeah. but the. Uh, Mac now it, it it says it's got a Retina display, but it doesn't have the liquid ret, Retina display like the Mac Air. Yeah. So that's kind that's of that. interesting I there. Yeah, I think it has a better screen than the Mac Air than the Mac Air. Oh, you you think twenty so? hours? Look at what the battery 20 life. Hours. Twenty hours, two extra hours. Twenty hours. It's a thirteen inch Pretty laptop. Thing you'll buy Pretty soon you'll be able to buy a lap laptop and you'll never have to charge it. Yeah. Six times faster than the old Intel based. Look at that when it comes to video yeah, editing. Oh yeah. oh yeah, big time. Up to two terabytes of storage. Imagine that. Imagine in the well, uh, in the 1980s, yeah. when 40 megabyte hard drives were the big thing. Well, you'll have to pay for that two terabytes, okay? <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah, you that's will. A little, that's, a, that's a pricey deal, okay? Yeah. Now, what's NITS? 
I'm I'm confused about what that means. What does nits mean? I haven't. I, I I have no idea. You'd almost have to be a graphics nut in order to figure that out. It goes yeah. along with pixels and everything else. Now, what's what are these keys up here? Um, those I haven't are, seen those before. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe well one's a mic. Okay, did one One's video. Okay, listen. Yeah. You remember, okay, Mac, the MacBook Pro, they tried to steal about keys up there. That you press yeah. that button, you press that, and your microphone can come on and stuff. Right. Okay, that's what it is. But that didn't go over too good because they thought the developers would come up with some stuff, and they never did. So they haven't got written all of that yet. Oh, yeah. Your keyboard. It's, it was called the Touch Bar. Yeah, but it Touch had a, Bar. It, yeah. But it had a ton of stuff, unnecessary stuff. But this is pretty they scaled, interesting. Yeah, they scaled it down quite a bit. Yeah. Unlock your Mac by fingerprint. Open password. Yeah, that's, yeah. Apple Pay. Yeah. Hey, they're even offering a three percent daily cash with your Apple Card. Yeah, I know. I get. I get. I've been using. I have an Apple Card. I finally went over to the dark side and got an Apple card okay oh my god and gosh. every day i get noticed you know if i buy something you know and if, uh, we saved you we gave you two dollars and 30 cents this week or something like that yeah or saved you two dollars and 30 cents the big deal get back to the i think the big is the compatibility camera uh-huh okay and the combat and you know how webcams on laptops have historically been just terrible Oh, and yeah. Apple cameras are being the worst, okay? Because there's just not enough room. That little bezel there, right. know, that little bezel, there's not enough room in it. So I think the crack engineers at Apple said, you know, we we can't we can't lick this. So what they did is that they there again they sure locked an app from an ex Apple engineer, a couple of ex Apple engineers, and what they do is that you just put you can just use your phone for a webcam on your computer. Yeah. And you just, and it, it hooks up the Camo app. That's the app you can get that does it now. You have to yeah. hook a USB or yeah, you have to hook a USB cable up to it. Okay, and it's kind of it works okay. You know, it does what it's supposed to do, but this yeah. is supposed to work wirelessly. Yeah, and most people yeah. most people phones are better than webcams are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I think the Apple engineer said, you know, we give up. Here we got this great camera. We got three cameras on this phone here. Okay, so let's just why don't we just hook that up to the thing? Just put it on top. Yeah. So Makes that's sense. what they did, and and that gave them the opportunity to do some other stuff like the overhead shot view. You've seen right. it on YouTube videos where somebody's playing cards. You or know, cooking. and they do the overhead shot. Or well, this way it can set up right on your computer. You don't have to mess around with that overhead and everything. Yeah. And I see they've got a new Mac OS coming out. It's Ventura. Yeah. It is, um, as, you know, Ferengi would say, you know, our, our crack marketing department, they worked overtime to come up with a new name. Yeah. They got on their micro bus and they headed down the coast. So it's uh, Ventura, so they come up with Ventura. Yeah. Then they immediately went on a retreat for three months. <laughs> and I, iPad OS 16, what's new there? Uh, you can hook up a regular external monitor up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, FaceTime, you know, better FaceTime video. Um, They're inching closer to become computers, laptops. Pretty much. Well, you know, the software, you know, they have, 
you know, they merge the software together, okay? The same software, you, uh, the apps you use on a Mac, you can use on a phone, and you can use on an iPad, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting better. Okay, it's yeah. getting there. And uh, one, one of the gripes people have had with iPads is it's really hard to multitask. Right. Okay. And they've added, and there was some stuff that was locked down, like, for example, you could change the extension name on a file. You know, little things like that. They opened that stuff up. So yeah. they're slowly opening up the iPad. It's going to be a computer. And I see Watch OS 9 is coming out. What's new there? Really, no, no, no big features. Uh, you know, you know, uh, they haven't crossed that that you know bridge in order to do blood testing or not blood testing, but blood pressure or diabetes right. checking. You know, that's always the that's like the crown jewel on a watch. You know, that you can check your blood pressure or check you know or, or check diabetes on that. They haven't done that yet, but they just uh, you know. Um, one of the gripes I had was that you couldn't do your own um, watch faces. Now yeah. you can do your own watch faces and stuff. Wow. And uh, just 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 a little bit more refinements. Yeah. What generation right now is the latest on the on a watch? I think it's a seven. I think isn't it? Yeah, series seven. I think I. Yeah, I got a four. Yeah. Yeah. Mine works Here's fine. Them. I'll probably be needing a new watch maybe this fall because I've noticed when I'm swimming, okay, sometimes when I touch the, the base, it doesn't stop or whatever, you know, it's kind of aggravating. Right. But I I love my watch. I use it all the time. First thing, yeah. that last thing it goes off at night and the first thing comes back on. Yeah. I use it for everything. I'll be sitting there watching TV. I'll use it for a remote. I'll be, um, I'll set the temperature in the house. We've got this problem with temperature in our house that diva likes it cold and i like it hot okay yeah. and so when she leaves when she goes somewhere and then i said you know change the temperature to 80 degrees yeah okay i, I talked to my watch and yeah. it does it and then when it comes when i hear her drive up i said well change it back you know change it change the temperature to 78 right and then she comes in and says oh it's so hot in here <laughs> wow all righty. Well, it, it was pretty cool tonight uh, going through the rehash of all the Apple products. I think out of all the ones that got my attention is obviously the MacBook Air. You know, I yeah. have a vested interest the only, in it right now. The, the only thing, the only bad thing about the whole situation was, was that um, there's some older Macs and iPads that they're not going to update. Yeah. Okay. So even on my I, iMac, I'm getting toward the end of life on the iMac I got right here. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I've got a new phone, but my watch is getting pretty old. But I'm okay on the watch. But, you know, I've got a Mac here. I got an old Mac here that I bought in 2013. And yeah. I don't think I can update that again. Yeah. But it works fine. Yeah. Mac Airs are solid. I mean, they're solid. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, this kind of wraps our uh, episode tonight. Uh, for everybody watching, we had Doug, uh, the Apple Guru of Gurus for the RGV on to give us a rundown <laughs> of all the different products uh, that Apple, well, that Apple re released or announced. You know, they have did a lot of updates to the operating systems for their various devices and of course they came out with uh, you know two hardware announcements you know the MacBook Air and the MacBook uh, Pro 13 uh, do we know Doug when these actually are going on sale the hardware available now okay okay you can order them now you'll get them about a month okay and the, the software is available to develop. It was available to developers the other day, and yeah. the public beta is in July. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's great. So Ventura yeah. may not 
come with the MacBook initially is what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. You'll have to, when they release it, probably in November. Yeah. Okay. They usually release the, the Mac software last, usually like in November, after right. everything else is out. Then you'll be able to update it, okay. which is not a big deal. Yeah. It's just yeah. a simple download. All righty. All righty, everybody. Well, we appreciate everybody coming on the show. We hope you enjoyed uh, some of the informative information that Doug brought to us. And uh, we hope to see you on the next show uh, next week. Doug, thanks for coming on online. I know you've been Always a pleasure. busy. I know, you've been, I know you want to go back to your uh, uh, political show you were watching earlier. <laughs> Not really. I've been so bored. You know, I'm recovering from hip surgery. I've been so bored. I've been watching old episodes of The Fugitive on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. That's scary. We're talking the 60s Fugitive, right? We're talking 1963 to 1966, 57. Sam David Shepard, Jansen. right? That was the name of the guy? Dr. Sam Shepard? Richard, no, Dr. Richard Kimball was loosely based on Dr. Sam Shepard. Okay, who is Sam Shepard? He was a, there was a case in uh, 1960 where a uh, Pennsylvania doctor, I think, allegedly killed his wife. Killed his wife. And, and his name was Shepard. His name was Shepard. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the, the, on the fugitive Richard is Dr. Kimball. Richard Kimball. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And there's, you know, and there's a cop that's chasing him across the country and stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah always, the, the latest, always gets the latest one was by Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> oh, that was written. That, that was, um, yeah, that was Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. Right. I yeah. remember that movie. Yeah, yeah they, so. yeah, they, you know, he played Richard Kimball. It was Richard Kimball in that, but, and yeah. Tommy Lee Jones played the Lieutenant Gerard. Yeah, but yeah, you know, but no, it's it's good series. It was a good series. Yeah. A lot of a lot of future stars came out of that series. Wow! I saw yeah. you know Bruce Stern, who is still kicking, still performing today. Yeah. Okay, he was on an episode the other night. Robert Duvall. I watched him last night. He was on an episode. Yeah. Great actor, Robert Duvall. Been around for he had hair, and that's and he had hair in that episode. That's right. Yeah, he did. And and just, you know, there's more, you know, Tom Skerritt from Aliens, just on down the line, yeah. you know. Yeah, great, Alrighty. great episode. All righty, Doug. Okay. Well, you have a good I'll evening. See you later. And everybody, welcome for, or thank you for coming on the show, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>